Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another Iron Man progress video. This is episode number 64. Not much for me to say other than hope you enjoy the rest of the episode, so let's dive straight into it. Picking up another Aviancy's task, so that will be about 40 boss kills in total. I'll need to go and hunt some chins and hopefully can get the first unique item from Armadil. And that will take me up to about 120 kills overall, which is near the drop rate for a piece of the armor. So who knows, might get lucky. I don't tend to record hard clues unless they're really good rewards, um, but that's a pretty decent one, 1.1 mil. Unfortunately, do already have the Zami D high top with like a Sara one, but that's not too bad. And that is 93 Hunter. So I can now catch Dragon Implings barehanded, I'm pretty sure. I don't know why that didn't pop up, but that would be quite handy just seeing them out and about. Don't have to worry about the net when I'm catching them. And that will certainly be enough red chin chompers for the rest of my armor task. Probably need to do two more trips. So let's see if we can get anything. Well, um, I'm just out here trying to get some ecumenical keys and I got myself a champion scroll from an imp, which is really good because that means I can unlock a music track that you get from doing a champion's challenge and get a little bit closer to unlocking the music cape. Now that they've uh, released the mimic, I do need to get a mimic either from an elite or a master clue to be able to unlock the music track but the champion scroll was another one of those um, music tracks that was going to be more difficult to unlock so that is really really cool well that is the end of the task finishing up on 136 Kriara kills in the end um, as you can see I did die and I lost about 300 chins which is quite annoying and I've got a lot of supplies left on the floor so I think I'm just gonna stay and try and extend the trip um, I don't have that many chins left over, so it's just going to be rune crossbow and diamond bolts for a lot of the kills, and we'll see how many I can get. But no drops, but still a fun trip other than dying. Well, um, I can't say that the kills were particularly fast, but definitely worth staying. That's my first armadillo item, the chest plate. Probably the most useful one out of the three. Really happy with that. That's nearly 42 mil. That's ridiculous. Um... Yeah, I mean, I'm going to stay with the rest of the supplies that I've got. The kills are pretty slow. I'll probably only get one or two more. That is really, really cool to see. So having got the Imp Champion Scroll, I'm quite keen to try and finish up getting the rest of the music tracks that I need in order to unlock the music cape. Obviously, I will have to do the challenge. Um, that's not particularly difficult, but I think the thing that might take a bit of time now is trying to get a Mimic Encounter. So what I'm going to do is go back to Barrows for a bit and do some elite clues or at least try and get some elite clues and I think I'll trade them in for master clues. There are a few master steps that I can't do but the Mimic has a 1 in 15 chance of um, being found once you've completed a master clue whereas it's 1 in 35 for elites. So I feel like it's worth trading up the elites for masters. I'm also going to try and get myself another emblem from Wilderness Slayer so that I can imbue a Ring of Wealth for getting the hard clues easier for trading up into a master clue. So we'll do that first and then go back to Barrows and uh, try and get some elite clues. Hey, there we go, that didn't take long at all. I'll trade this in and cancel the task because I don't really feel like staying out here, but hopefully I won't lose the Ring of Wealth at all by dying in the wilderness. And that will enable me to get the hard clues um, hopefully much quicker. So I forgot to mention I did get an elite clue from Kriara, uh, which meant that I was able to get this master clue pretty quickly. I don't think this is a mimic. I think it probably would have said already. So it's just a straight up reward. What can we get? Oh no, it is the mimic <laughs> on the first one. Well, looks like we're not going to Barrows then. Uh, I guess I'll have to look up how to kill this thing and head over to Watson's house. Well, that was very easy. So I guess we just go outside and open the reward and see what we get. Okay, so it will give us a small chance of getting that new ring of third age, but otherwise, yeah, pretty standard master clue reward. I do need to break down my extra master scroll books into Watson teleports, but 
Yeah, that's not bad. Oh, the extra reward was the 600 death rune, so I'll take that as well. All right, well, that is the imp champion defeated. And I only have one track left to get, which is the one that you unlock when you do the Inferno. And I don't have a spare fire cape, so what I'm going to do is I've unlocked the Tazar uh, task from Duradel, and I'll just wait until I get a Jad task and go from there. And I might even do Jad tasks afterwards, to be honest, for the pet. So hopefully that doesn't take too long. That's a unique granite gloves. Don't have those. They're completely useless. Only here for the core which is a 1 in 500 drop, so we need to get lucky to get that this task. Don't know if I'm going to stay here for the full 237, we'll see. Got an elite clue from Grotesque Guardians, what can we get? Ooh, Royal Scepter, not had that before, that's definitely unique. A few planks as well for construction, 70 elites done now. And that is my second pair of granite gloves. I'm not entirely sure what the drop rate is on those, but again, not particularly useful. Well, they don't have any use for me, but still cool to see a unique drop. And they're worth 400k, which isn't bad. There we go, that is another Greater Demon task, 200, so that'll be 100 boss kills. Still looking for the Zami Hill, let's see if we can go and get that. Ooh, I have not had a Robin Hood hat before, that is pretty cool. Doesn't have any use for me, but that's a pretty iconic old school item. Pretty happy with that, it's worth a fair bit as well. Just finished a 10 kill trip at Zami, which I'm pretty sure is the first time I've ever managed to do that. Did get lucky with a restore drop, which obviously does extend the trip, but that's pretty cool to see. I think the uh, Staff of the Dead definitely helped. Shout out to this guy from the comments in my last video. Uh, it definitely helped killing the minions a bit quicker after Krill was down, and yeah, I feel like the accuracy on the staff and the extra damage definitely made a difference, so hopefully can continue getting uh, decent kill trips and see what we can do with the rest of the task. Well I didn't get anything else on my Zami task but I got a blue dragon task and figured I would come and do some Vorkath, that is my 50th kill so I get the guaranteed Vorkath's head. I wanted to come back and try the lance again because it's been a while since I've uh, tested it here. It's a pretty good method, I do enjoy it, but the only problem for me really is the Dragon Warhammer isn't that accurate and the difference in speed between a kill that has some defense reduction from a successful spec and one that doesn't is quite noticeable. I'm getting comfortable kills around two minutes or less than two minutes with a spec and without one sometimes they go up to like three and a half minutes which is pretty slow. So I think before I come back, probably it's better for me to get a BGS or come back with the Dragon Hunter crossbow and then I'll be getting faster kills, but it's an enjoyable method. Just got my second Granite Longsword. They're not really worth that much, 120 odd K, but always nice to see. Would be nice to get the boots here at some point to be honest. Hey, there we go. I was hoping to get a Jad task pretty soon, so I will go and do that get the fire cape that I can sacrifice to unlock access to the Inferno and that will be the last music track that I need for the music cape. There we go, been ages since I've done Jad, that's only my second one on this account. 36 minutes, not too bad. Let's go and sacrifice the cape, unlock the Inferno and go and buy the music cape. There we go, 600 music tracks. I've unlocked every single one of them. Gonna be a while before I'm ready to take on the Inferno, but the music cape's gonna be pretty useful for Master Clues. So let's go and pick that up. There we go, that is the music cape. As I said, gonna be useful for Master Clues, and of course, gonna have to give it the uh, this obligatory emote. It's pretty nice. I think I can trim it. Ah, no, you need to have done all the diaries to trim it, which I'm working on. Um, not too far off 84 runecrafting. Need 86, obviously. Then I'll be able to trim that one and the achievement diary cape as well. And that is it for today's episode. Hope you guys have enjoyed watching. Next episode, probably going to continue on with some Slayer. Maybe pick up another Armadil task or Greater Demons and do some more Zami. Would be nice to get that Zami hill and finish off the God Sword and continue on getting some of the armadillo items as well. 
might do some bandos who knows i keep say that at the end of every episode and never get around to doing it might try and finish up the achievement diaries in the next episode as well would take a bit of uh bit of time to finish up those rune crafting levels but that would be quite a nice thing to knock out but regardless hope you have enjoyed watching the episode and see you in the next one take care